Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to start with the conformational analysis of ethane. In the further videos, we will see for propane and last will be butane. So ethane is what? Ethane, as you can see here, it is a two carbon alkane, CH3, CH3. Okay, green ones are carbon and white ones are hydrogen atoms. Okay, so first let us understand what is the meaning of conformational analysis. So what we do in conformational analysis is conformational analysis we calculate the uh, strain energy of okay we calculate what we calculate the strain energy that we had already seen in our last video how do we calculate strain energy for conformations in the previous video okay i will provide the link in the description if you have not watched that video okay how do we calculate the strain energy in conformations so what we will do we will keep there are two carbons next to each other that is adjacent carbons we will keep one carbon let's say this backside carbon will be same and front carbon we will rotate by various angles like 0 60 120 180 240 300 and 360 so we are rotating it by plus 60 degree plus or minus we are considering here clockwise rotation of 60 degrees and what we will see we will see the strain energy at all the steps we will see the strain energy of all the steps and then we have to plot a graph of strain energy strain energy versus here we have the dihedral angle what are these degrees these are the dihedral angle what is dihedral angle that also we had seen that is the angle between the two bonds let's say this ch front ch bond backside ch bond and this ch bond okay the angle between the two angle between the two bonds is nothing but this is called as a dihedral angle okay so let us start how we do so what we are going to use we know how we can use this table of strain energy where there is hh eclipsing hch3 eclipsing ch3 ch3 eclipsing and ch3 ch3 gauche conformation this we had already seen how do we calculate the strain energy so let us start with let us start with the eclipse conformations that is zero degree okay dihedral angle is zero so this is the front carbon CH3 this is the front carbon and back carbon we denote by a circle big circle so angle is how much zero so we will draw like this this means the dihedral angle is zero this is which conformation this is eclipsed conformation why I'm calling this eclipse conformation because the front hydrogen atom that is exactly in front of the hydrogen atom attached to the second carbon okay so this is eclipse conformation now what we will do we can keep the backside carbon let me number the carbons let's say this front carbon is one and back carbon is two so what we will do we will keep c2 as constant okay and we will rotate only across the front carbon okay c1 okay so first let us rotate by plus 60 degree so what we will get is plus 60 degree means front carbon we are rotating okay back carbon will remain as it is so what we will get back carbon let us draw first as it is hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen okay front carbon we had rotated by 60 so this it will become like this so this is what this is staggered conformation okay staggered conformation okay so in eclipse conformation what will be the strain energy for hh eclipsing we had seen how much is the energy here you can see it is how much it is 4 4 kilojoule okay there are such how many interaction 1 2 and 3 there are 3 hh eclipsing so 3 into 4 is how much 12 kilojoule is a strain energy 
so at 0 degree let's say this is 12 let's say this is 12 kilojoule okay then for 60 degree this is in the staggered conformation i had already told you what is the strain energy it is zero okay there is no strain energy when hydrogen hydrogen are in the staggered conformation so for 60 degree let's say this is zero okay so let's say i will put a point here okay similarly again when i do 120 degree what i will get let me rotate only front carbon okay so this will come here this bond will come here and this will come here again what i will get i will get eclipse conformation okay back carbon and front carbon also what we have got we have got again an eclipsed conformation okay again so strain energy will be 0 kilojoules sorry 12 kilojoules in staggered it is 12 but in eclipsed conformation it is in staggered conformation it is 0 in eclipsed conformation it will be 12 kilojoules so again we will mark a point here for 120 now 60 then next 60 means 120 degree we have rotated from with respect to the starting angle okay starting it was 0 60 then we have rotated again we have done 60 so net of 120 so again it will be 12 then again when we rotate it will become staggered again eclipsed 180 it will be eclipsed okay 60 120 180 240 it will be eclipsed 300 it will be staggered 360 again it will be eclipsed so how it the graph will look like it will look like this we start from 12 then 60 then 12 then again 0 then 12 then 0 and then again 12 so this is how the graph of conformational analysis of ethane looks like so let me number this these these are let's say points a so a ones and these are let's say b b and b so what is this a and b a points are higher in energy that represent what that represent eclipse conformation what is the energy of eclipse conformation 12 kilojoule 12 kilojoule per mole and b points are what they are lower in energy with zero strain energy they are what staggered conformation of ethane that is zero kilojoule per mole okay so in this way when we plot a graph of strain energy or potential energy of a molecule versus the dihedral angle this plotting of graph okay first analyzing the energy of all the conformers and then plotting this energy plot this is called as conformational analysis of ethane what is the use of this plot for each and every conformer we can understand what is the energy okay we can compare all the conformers based on their strain energy okay so this was for ethane so how actually it looks like the same okay here you can see the graph what is the energy difference energy difference is 12 kilojoule energy difference is 12 this is 0 kilojoule per mole and these are eclipse conformers are eclipse conformation is 12 kilojoule per mole so energy difference they have written is 12 kilojoule per mole so this was for ethane so here we come to the end of today's video in the next coming videos we are going to see the same analysis for propane that is 3 carbon alkane and then for butane that is 4 carbon alkane i hope you have understood how we get this graph thank you so much